people, what's up? Hey, down here on the lake, y'all. See if we can't bring y'all some catfish tonight. Oh, uh, Kerr Lake, again, we are at Rudd's Creek. Um, hey, we're going to get these baited up. We're going to get them casted out, and we'll be back. All right, y'all, we set up, and we already getting a bite on this rod right here. Um, I'm running strawberry jello chicken thighs, regular chicken thighs, bluegill, and I got a couple of goldfish that was actually given to me. So, uh, hey, let's hope we get y'all one. Like I said, you got the, uh, the black handle big cat fever rod right now. It's got jello, strawberry jello chicken thigh on it, and something's tapping it. Could be a turtle, could be a cat. Let's see if I can see if it takes it down for y'all. It's on that big plate. It's on that big cat fever black handle rod, y'all. Heck yeah, y'all. That's a good way to start the night out. Get my clips. I can zoom in here a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Woo. Bring him up. A little muddy. Oh, he's nothing. He smacked me, y'all. Look at that. Ain't that a pretty one? Hey, let's get a weight on this, y'all. Like I said, that was caught on the uh, Big Cat Fever and the Strawberry Jello Chicken Thighs. Come on. Dang, on they won't pay. Eleven point six two. Huh. I don't know why it took them so long. Battery probably going dead on them. Uh, there y'all. Hey, let's pause this and get a picture. All right, y'all. There you go. Hey, let's get this little thing back in the water. Slime me up, y'all. Oh. Hey, let's get the rod here and we'll show y'all what we're running on that. Oh, man. First one of the night, y'all. Number one. All right, there we go. We're running a three ounce bank weight. On a sinker slide, got a silicone, bumper bead, polymer knot to my swivel, polymer knot, and I'm running about 
running about a 13 to 14 inch leader line and this is a Carolina rig I'm running the 8 alt Charlie Brown circle octopus and there's the chicken thigh strawberry jello chicken thighs so y'all see that works right, let's get this to cast it back out y'all Now I got a little bungee on that one because I don't feel that comfortable with it in there. Rod holder. I don't feel that comfortable with it in that rod holder, y'all. That's that spring rod holder. Um, number one, Rudd's Creek. Hey, <laughs> strawberry yellow chicken thigh. How about that? Might be the game warden right there. Who knows? I'm good. Got my parking permit and my fishing license. Hey, listen here, y'all. We are running Carolina rig, as y'all seen on that one. One here beside it, I'm running a Santee rig with the rattle. And I'm running a piece of, um, it's a dead goldfish, so it's half a goldfish. Next rod here, the, the Black Bridgewater. It has got a um, piece of regular chicken thigh on it. The green mag cat here has the, um, it's got one of the uh, spook rattlers floats on it. Also, a whisker seeker rattler on it. So it's, I'm telling you what it's doctored up. It's got live bluegill on it. Um, and the orange ugly stick there has a, uh, the other half of the dead uh, goldfish. So, hey. It's one to the bank, y'all, and a takedown. It's awesome. Hey, uh, I sent out a Facebook message to uh, one of my buddies in one ton group, Josh, and I said, uh, "I said, hey, bud, as I was driving down this way, not actually coming to this location, but I was just coming towards the lake to come fish." And I said, uh, "What do you think about Rudd's Creek?" He said, uh, "I said, what do you think about that tonight?" He said, "Heck yeah." Got some little deep hole. I know you honest it. Um, I'm casting into, I want to say the water's down a little bit. So probably my deepest that I'm casting into is probably about 15 foot. Um, there's the water's really still and calm. Uh, it's not much movement in it at all. So you could, everything is just laying where it's plopped. And I'm being able to use bank weights, you know, just like bank weights. Um, you could use egg right. You could use egg weights here too. It'd be okay. But uh, Josh, hey, thank you, buddy. Want to the bank for you, man. Hey, let's pause this, and we'll be back. Hopefully, we got you on another one. Uh, before it gets too dark, let me flip this around here and show y'all what I got. <clears throat> okay. So, y'all can see, back up in here, nice little cove back in here. Wooded bank line. I've got some shallow water and I've got a little bit of depth in my water up to you know like I said about 15 foot so right now you know pre-spawn and begin to spawn water temperatures getting warmer you know they're moving closer to the bank so this is a pretty ideal location right here for all three you know flatheads blues and channels I mean it's just it's an ideal place and uh, I really hope we can get y'all into some uh, flathead tonight. That would really make my night. But hey, let's sit back. Hopefully we can bring y'all some more. Y'all. In the morning time too.
<laughs> we might be having, a, we might have another one on. Ooh, y'all see that thing fighting out there, huh? Hey y'all, AM catfishing, it ain't nothing like it. As long as I don't lose it. My clips here. Yeah, I gotta get down here and go slick deal. Tell you what, this thing's putting up a fight, y'all. Big Cat Fever Rod, y'all, and Jello Strawberry Chicken Thighs. Y'all let him tire down a little bit, y'all. This is a pretty nice one right here. I think that yellow chicken don't work. If you think that yellow chicken don't work, what about that? Whoo wee! Hey, that's a nice one. Strawberry jello chicken. He got a hook in his mouth. Hey, look. Got another hook in him. Oh. Let's see if we can't get that out. Somebody else's hook is in him too right here. He done popped somebody's line. Look at that. That was in him also. Whew. Let's get the scales, y'all. Hope we don't get another big takedown here while I'm fooling with this. We fished last night. Didn't do too good. Caught it an early night. Figured we'd come back today. See what could happen. Seven, y'all. Whoo! Oh Lord! Look at this monster, baby! Look at that! Whoo! Hey, let's pause this, get a picture. All right, y'all. Now that I'm all slimed up and nasty. Let's get this back in the water. still had a whole lot left in it. Oh man, he got me good on the way out. Uh. Ha -ha. Oh. Bringing y'all to bank spots, y'all. Nighttime, morning time, daytime. We gonna get you catfish 
Right now we're on the Dan River. Let's pause this, get this baby back up. And hopefully we're gonna bring y'all a lot more than that. We got something playing with live bait now, y'all. That's got a live bait on it. With the float and the rattler. And that's the same spot I caught the last one out of. I just went ahead. That one was over here. I pulled it and got it to roll right here and I casted that one. Chicken rod out that way. That's got live bait. That's got cut bait. That one's got chicken. Jello chicken. A pretty big piece of bait on it too. Pretty big, pretty, pretty big live piece of bait. Man, I was hoping I get y'all take down right here. Y'all see the rods? Damn. It's got all mud all on their phone. Let me see here. Whoa, that's too close. <laughs> Let me see here. Does that help out any? I got mud all over my face. That thing splashed me good a minute ago. I'm still cleaning. I'm still. Uh oh. It's chicken rod. My big head out the way. All right, we got the bridge water, bridge water, ugly stick, the cork candle, big cat fever in the middle, and the black candle, big cat fever. And I've got the um, mad cat laying over here behind me in case I need it. Kinda of hard to cast a 10 foot out right here where I'm at. It can't be done, but it's a little tricky. I'm gonna you'd rather use my three sevens right here and I'll pull that one out if I need to. Um this we're running Carolina rig with uh strawberry jello chicken thighs and they had the bone in them and I they were cheap. I got them for 250 a pack. It was six packs for 250. I cut the bone, I had to get them and cut the bone out of them. I got two packs of them for uh what is that? Um, Five dollars. Um, middle rod here has got a uh, CNT rig on it with the uh, Whisker Seeker Rattlers, and the bank rod here. The Bridgewater has got um, a Carolina rig with uh, cut bait. Really hoping I can get a takedown for y'all. Still fooling with it. Yeah, that rod bent. That's your current pulling it down like that. And that's a medium heavy Big Cat Fever spinning rod. Look how it pulls it. I guess he decided he didn't want to. We'll pause this and be back. Y'all think just lost it. No, it's still on there. Ah, come on, baby. Oh, 
clips. Back here. Oh, without falling. Let me reposition here. Because you're whooping my butt. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> oh, my chair's in the way, y'all. Let me stop playing around here. Oh, get my chair out of the way. Hey, they're making this old boy work this morning. Hey, let's pause this, get a picture, and then we'll tell y'all what we got going on. Let's get this hook out of this thing's mouth. I wanted some pictures with the rattler. Oh, man, that's a 12 out. Mm. Hey, this thing right here is feisty, y'all. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, we found a bluegill laying down there on the bank. Somebody left me. Hey, we're going to put that on a rod. This was caught on live uh, goldfish. Come on, 21.7, 21.7, y'all, look at that beauty there, ain't that a beauty, mm. hey, let's get this back in, y'all, Look at this thing. God, I'm blessed. That thing bent over to the hill. Hey, they, they're making me work, y'all. <laughs> hey, it's what it's about right here. Oh. Now, we gotta slime that thing up. I was on a uh, big, big piece of, uh, I was on a big uh, goldfish, y'all, live goldfish, 12 volt circle. That's in Mad Cats. Whisker Seeker Rattlers. No slip pig. It's about a 12 inch leader line. I had to add, I got a four ounce bank, uh, no roll. I had to add a two ounce to it to keep it steel because it's running live bait and it's moving it. Oh, oh, that was on daddy's rod too, y'all. Heck <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, look what we got down when we were down there. And this thing ain't that old. But, uh, yeah, it still smell good. Huh. Well, we're going to trim this thing right on up. And, uh, heck, let's put it on this rod we just reeled in. We found somebody's bait. 
get a fresh bluegill laying on the bank. Now I trimmed it up here, trimmed it up here. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be wasteful, y'all, because I don't got no more bluegill. So we're only gonna do half. We'll do half a piece. Well, y'all wanna run another piece of that goldfish. Hey, let's run another goldfish, y'all. You know what, they just caught one. And I don't. I still got one in here flopping around. And they won't even in water. Hey, he's gonna go for his stuff, y'all. I just don't never have no whole, whole, whole lot of luck on I guess it's certain times of year. Good. I'm a muddy mess now, y'all. It's already been hooked once through the front. That's why I didn't hook it again through the front. Hook it through the tail. See what happens, y'all. God, I'm a muddy mess. Oh, everything down here is muddy. One last night, or one yesterday evening, two this morning. I'm a muddy mess, y'all. And I gotta get me some suspenders from Farmerville, I'm telling you. Oh, man. This is that uh, scales I use, y'all. Dr. Mater luggage scales. And I can't never remember this is on there. But it's got a 38 inches tape measure. And if you don't think your scales is accurate, there is a way that you can do blues, and they say it's within a pound usually. Um I don't want to tell y'all wrong. It's you gotta measure the girth times something, times something, times something, but you can YouTube it. There's a lot of videos on out there on how you can estimate the weight of your fish without the scales as long as you got you a tape some kind of tape measure um i don't exactly know how to do it y'all i used to didn't even weigh none of my fish not a single one unless i was bass fishing um it's crappy you know I, if i caught a gigantic one you know i i I kept a measure tape, old fabric tape uh, measure. Let's reel this chicken rod in and see what we got going on here. y'all I actually had this little itty bitty bank weight a little three quarter I stuck on that four ounces I ain't had no five I got some five no rolls I just don't feel like putting them on I don't feel like we doing everything Strawberry. Strawberry jello chicken, y'all. Don't put a fresh piece on that. Hey, let's put a fresh piece on that. We'll give them that for free. 
They ain't have to work for that. You gotta give a meal out every now and then. Hey, tell you what, we're gonna put the bluegills in this one. We're gonna reel that one in right there, and we're gonna run chicken on the bank. I'm all tangled up here now. Lord. Oh, my weight. God bless there. Tangled up up here too. Hey, golly, Lucille. There we go. All right. A little drag on this thing. <clears throat> I'll see it. Oh, about to cast into a tree. I hate the way that thing's standing straight up and down, but oh well. Let's get this one in. Like lines all and I've got no hits on this dead goldfish. There's a dead one here. Put some chicken on this thing. Strawberry jello chicken, y'all. Now, oh, I gotta wash my hands. We're gonna get this casted out. We just casted the black rod out, y'all. We just casted it out. Sun's already hitting it. They won't never hit it. Told you. I didn't want y'all to think I was lying. I was getting ready to pause it. Because I can't never get them to hit on camera. Toying with it. I've had 
a goldfish laying there ever since I've been down here, and it ain't took one hit. I did goldfish. I threw that jello chicken out there, and it's almost as soon as it hits the water. Hey, we'll pause this and be back if it takes it down. Well, y'all, I'm still getting a few little hits on that chicken rod. I reeled it in. This ate up. Turtle. See the heads popping up. Tell you what, that sun getting ready to come over them trees right there, and it's going to be hot. So, hey, thank y'all for tuning in, for watching, spending your time, seeing what I do. Bringing you to the bank spots. Got you three fish. One yesterday evening. Two this morning. All daytime footage. It's awesome. Nice fish. Good spots. Good gear tips. The whole works. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much. Hats off to all y'all. Hey, happy fishing. And as always, God bless. Tight lines. <laughs>